Ah yes, Squishmallows, the little round soul-sucking stuffed animals that are ridiculously adorable and totally don't determine my mental health depending on whether or not I can find one in the store while I'm grocery shopping. It's hard to not fall in love with their beady little eyes and cute personalities. So I decided to make my own characters into one. First up is Breadstick. She's a cat shark hybrid that I've used as my main sona for several years. It was kind of difficult figuring out what to do about her hair since the actual plushes don't normally have hair. <coughs> Other than squish doos. We don't talk about them. So I decided to stick with just a little hair curl. Shark squishes do exist, they're just kind of not my favorite design wise. Plus I think it would be interesting to see some hybrids start in Squishmallows because I don't think we've had hybrid series yet. Oh, and I also made little tags to go along with them. And I named this set the Sona Squad. Her little tag says, bust out your beach bag and get ready to hit some big waves. Breadstick loves catching the sun and swimming to her heart's content. Originally from Australia, this big shark cat isn't afraid of anything. Want to build sandcastles with her? Moving on to Kibble. Kibble is sort of a kid core inspired character. She's a pit bull mix, which I don't think there are any pit bull squish mallows as there is. I know that there's a couple bulldogs, but I don't think there's actual pit bulls. I think out of all the ones I made, she's probably the one I'd like to have physically the most. Her design is also closest to what I could see being actually made into a squish because her colors can be simplified down into three. Her character already looks really soft and squishy just by itself. Kibble's tag reads, freshly baked cookies, lollipops, playgrounds, and stickers are all some of Kibble's favorite things. You'll often catch her lounging in a ball pit or collecting plushies from the thrift store. You're never too old for fun. Next up is Sage. Sage is a recently developed character meant to be my main Sona, since I really didn't feel a complete connection with Breadstick anymore. I kind of flip-flop between the two depending. My only reason for existence sometimes is getting up and going to the fridge and knowing that I can eat some delicious food. So I made Sage a total foodie. I also really like spicy food and Sage's tag really puts that into the spotlight. Sage's tag reads, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Ready to bake at 425 degrees, Sage is always cooking up a storm for their friends and family. Their favorite type of food is spicy, so prepare your tongue for an inferno of flavors. Josie! Small but mighty. Their design has to be one of my favorites. I was originally going to make them have the floppy ears, kind of like the bunny squishmallows, but then I was afraid that people would mistake them for a bunny and not a cat-goat hybrid. I don't even know what Josie is a mixture of, but I've kind of narrowed it down to cat-goat. But I think they would make a really cute squishmallow regardless. Josie's reads, thwack, an arrow to flex off your shield. Across from you, Josie is drawing back another powerful launch. What's your next move? And then finally on to sushi. Over the years I've made a ton of art of sushi, but this specific one has to be my favorite. He's a spider dog from hell who lives in the human world. He's also based on the Samoyed dog breed, which I would kill to have a squish made. It's one of my favorite dog breeds alongside pit bulls. I also thought it would be fun to make his tag's text look glitchy since he's supposed to be a cute little demon. He definitely couldn't pass this one though with how cute he is. And Sushi's tag is almost illegible unless you zoom in really really close to it. His says, rising up from the depths of hell in hopes of taking over the human realm, Sushi is here to take control. Easily swayed by the promise of treats and belly rubs, humanity is safe for yet another day. 